Now to a global effort underway at UC Davis and institutions across the world to trying to map the genetic code for nearly 2 million named species. And this work is entering an exciting new level of discovery. So the sequencing of all of these organisms provides a digital library, if you will, of all life on Earth. It's their code of life for every single species. A decade-long project is entering a new phase for researchers at UC Davis and around the world. It's a really complicated project. Their goal, to sequence and decode the genetic makeup of 1.8 million named species of plants, animals, and fungi. And we want to make sure that we get as many of those sequenced before they disappear, because that information can be extremely useful for conservation. Remember, extinction is forever. Having their DNA sequence helps us, gives us part of the tools that we need to do a better job managing the species that are threatened and endangered in California, in the United States, and in the world. Harris Lewin with UC Davis is leading the Earth Biogenome Project. I represent a community of more than 5,000 scientists in more than 100 countries. It's the work of this global community that's going to get this done. Here's what researchers are undertaking. First, they have to gather an extensive collection of all the organisms available in the world. Many of those exist in um, collections, museum collections. Second, researchers had to extract DNA from those organisms. And to step three, the actual sequencing. And that's where we are today. It has become much cheaper and much more efficient due to rapid advances in technology. How much cheaper, you may ask? Cost of sequencing has now gone down more than a million fold. So it costs $3 billion to sequence the human genome. And today it costs less than 10,000. And then after you sequence, then you've got to analyze it all <laughs> and decode the genome. Which takes a lot of time and a lot of people, but Harris Lewin is looking forward to it. For me, when we get to that 1.8 million, and I hope it's, you know, in my lifetime, that's the thing I really look forward to because I know once we hit that, we're going to be seeing tremendous applications that are going to be very useful to mitigating the effect of climate change and all of the, the problems that we face in the world today. Their goal is to sequence and decode 9,400 genomes by the end of next year, and they're hoping to have a third of that goal finished this year.